Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So today we're gonna to be playing around with embossing powder and ink. So you use the embossing ink, you pour on the powder, and then you, you turn on your heat gun, and it turns your um, the ink with the powder melts, or some sort of chemical reaction, and it turns into this beautiful thing right here. So this is on, I know I'm trying to get the right angle, here we go. You can kind of see it. It looks like foil and it's just gorgeous. It's the detail that you're not gonna get with the foil pen because this is just so much going on. I'm trying to see, I mean, you see all those lines? You're going to definitely mess up on the project using um, <clears throat> uh, foil. So this I love. And then this is the same thing, but using blue paper um, the ink turns into like a, um, I mean, it's just a different blue on there. So it's the same thing. So it just reacts differently. And then I just tried it today just to see if, <laughs> what it would, what would happen. Cause I had extra, so I did this little guy cause I love wrap, wrapping gifts. And, um, so this would just be perfect with this little guy right here. So I just like to make things really, you know, really pretty. You spent all that time to buy someone a gift, and so the next thing is to present it beautifully, and that's that's my thing. I love wrapping paper, uh, ribbon, and gift tags. So sorry, there we go. I think that's a better look for it. Um, so anyway, I was tying this, and I had extra ribbon, so I put embossing powder and ink on this as well, and it worked. So look at you can really customize your ribbon. So sorry, let me try to get a good angle on that. I think that's as good as it's gonna get, and then on this one. But we're gonna do it and hopefully you can see it change. But I absolutely love the idea that you can do this on ribbon. So, all right, all of the goods are from Brutus Monroe, and the stamp is so, so pretty that I didn't even take it off yet. I just started using it. So let me see if that's a better look for you. I mean, do, so you see all that detail? There's no way that you would get that with your um, your foil pen and the foil sheets that you do with your Cricut. Um, at least not without you wanting to pull your hair out. <laughs> so, all right, let me show you how to use this stuff. Um, first up is I have scrap paper. So that's the best thing, right, is what do you do with scrap paper? Well, you can do this. So I'm going to put a, give me one second, here we go. I just wanna make sure I don't get the embossing ink all over my work table. All right, so this is not the proper way to do it. I would highly recommend you, you know, using your ink block or whatever, but since I don't have one that's big enough, this is how I'm doing it. <laughs> so I'm putting the ink onto my stamp pad as you can see here. The other thing is I didn't even bother taking it off yet. This is exactly how it came. I absolutely love it <clears throat> that I started using it right away. Okay, so <clears throat> you have the ink on. The other thing is you don't have to have this, but a while ago I really got into embossing. So I got this little powder bag. And what you wanna do is you want to just kinda of like, um, just run it over your material. It what, what it does is it helps you get rid of the embossing powder that's not attached to the ink. So when I tap this off to the paper, um, onto my paper plate, all the excess will come out more easily. All right, so we have this. So what I would recommend is just getting it, you know, cause we're, we're gonna be using, um, a hole punch, like a big, I have a round punch this size. I think this is two and a half inches. Um, so we're just gonna be cutting little areas of this. So it really doesn't matter. And you can see where the ink lands, although you can't see on the, oh, you can see a little bit on the screen, but you'll see it once I put the powder down. All right, so let's ink this some more and we'll get this side. And then we'll do it on the blue. The blue will be easier to see, but this paper is so pretty that I wanted to show you anyway. All right, so let's do this one. And there's still gonna be some room over here. 
So I think I'm going to do one more. One more quick one. But you're going to do this, you would do this the same for your ribbon. So I'm just going to move this to the side. Then I'm going to get this one right here. Okay, so I'm going to put this up here. And what I would recommend is putting your paper over a uh, just a paper plate so that you can catch the excess. So the powder is here and I just pour it on and then I pour it down. I pour a lot. It gets back into my container. So So you can kind of see it now. And then once we hit the heat, it will melt the powder. So let me get some more. And so you can kind of see where it is. All right, so now I'm gonna put a new plate down and pour this over because we're running out of room. So you see, we're just making our way across the paper. So what I'm noticing is that little static powder bag didn't help me at all. I'm kind of surprised to see how much is sticking on here. So I'm gonna have to give it a good smack to get rid of the excess. Kind of like that, where you can really hear it. That's better. Okay, so I'm gonna get a little bit more at this little edge. And this is the clear powder one. I don't wanna do that just yet. So hold on, let me get this down on one paper or one plate, <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Okay, I'm gonna put this here and then we're just gonna pour it back in. So you can see, a, I mean, a, a little goes a long way. <sighs> I'm losing my mind. Um, okay, I think we got most of it. There's a section right there that I missed. And now I'm gonna try to do a really good job of tapping out the excess. All right, that didn't go so well. Okay, that's as good as it's gonna get. So let me just pour the excess in here, back into the container. The other thing is, because you're gonna be using heat and the heat gun is kind of powerful, make sure you just close this back up. I mean, I just, would hate for it to <laughs> go to waste. This is uh, Brutus, Brutus Monroe Icicle Embossing Powder. So it looks white. Okay, so let's turn this on so you can see what it looks like and hopefully you can see the change. All right, so it's gonna be a little loud. Oh, that's a good angle.
So I'm gonna put this down. I'm actually gonna see if I can turn off the light so you can see it a little bit better maybe. I mean, it's, oh yeah, you can see it right here a little bit better. Um, but it's just beautiful. It really, oh, oh. <laughs> there. So I'm gonna get my hole punch in real quick. Oh, and it looks like I didn't finish over here, so give me one quick second. Now I finish. Let me see. Oh, there. That's a kind of a good angle, so you can see all of that. So now, what you do is you just stick this in. You know, you want to look to see what you're punching out to get like a good. Like this one's a good one. It's the flower and the leaf. So, I mean, it's just really, really um, pretty. It just it looks very expensive <laughs> so that's always a good look right um let's see let's put this one right here that one you can't see as well but you'll be able to see it when we do the blue so i'm going to switch this over in a second i just want to finish a few and then you can always go with the smaller ones and get the rest of these so i'm going to put this aside let's do this blue one so you can really see hopefully this one will be better on camera all right so, embossing ink. Okay, so you can see the ink is faint. And then let's pour the powder on. You should be able to see the powder once I pour it on. <clears throat> and actually what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna trim the paper really quickly so that it's just easier to handle. But um, my first project using embossing powder was um, for a wedding so I the table numbers and everything and the envelopes so you can see there it's really pretty and the stamp is beautiful um, all right so let's finish this and then we can see it do its magic and this one I probably should have started with this one but that silver was just so beautiful I just wish it showed better Okay, so you're gonna like this. I mean, it's a gorgeous stamp. Um, let me see if I have the stamp information. I will have to link it because I don't have it um, with me right now. Okay, so we've got it on here. <laughs> Let's put this away before everything blows out and I'll be sad. <laughs> All right, so it's back in here. Then I turn it on. So the other thing with the heat is it takes a couple seconds for this to heat up. So I turn it on, I let it go a few seconds without touching the paper, and then I turn it on the paper. So let me see if I have any more excess on here first. All right, let's do this. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it on, sorry. <sighs>
pretty that is, right? So it's this color and texture and look that you really can't get with anything else. So it's um, it's kind of raised and it it just looks like foil on cardstock even. So on this one, let me see if I can get a better angle. It's really, really pretty. So anyway, you would do the same thing on ribbon that you can do, and then you just hole punch this and add it to all your gifts. I mean, they just look really, really fancy. I know, I love this. Oh, there, you can really see that. All right, I hope that was helpful. Let me know what else you wanna see, and I will link all the materials down below. Thank you.